Hello, everybody. Uh, first of all, thank you to join us in the Hyperledger Global Forum. And uh, thank you for all attendees for your interest in to listen and learn about how here in Brazil we are issuing virtual credentials signed by X509 certificates. My name is Fernando Marino. I'm a blockchain tech lead at CPQD. If you have any question uh, to do in this presentation, please feel free to write in your platform that I will read and answer you. Well, a little bit about me. Uh, I am Brazilian. I'm based in Campinas, a city of Sao Paulo state here in Brazil. I'm a, a person for innovation, software development, and blockchain expert. Uh, I have worked in, with innovation for almost 10 years, including mobile accessible applications, user experience, and closed base. Uh, in early of 2016, I got in touch with um, the meta technology chain, and since then, I have made the development of several proof of concepts here in Brazil uh, and uh, some MVPs as well. Uh, almost of this development was related to supply chain management solutions and self sovereign identity. Furthermore, I have published papers and spoken several events in Brazil and abroad. I have active participation under Hyperledger community. Hyperledger Brazil chapter, I am uh, one of the Hyperledger chapter member and one of Hyperledger Meetup Sao Paulo coordinator. I have spoken in events of Hyperledger like Hong Kong Bootcamp and Hyperledger Brazil Bootcamp. Well, talking about a little bit more uh, uh, regarding uh, signing documents to be issued in uh, using the virtual credentials protocols. Uh, first of all, what it's why it's matter? Why it's interesting to sign in this virtual credentials use the X509 certificates? Well, uh, almost places like Brazil and Europe already have a digital identity based in the infrastructure of the uh, certificates. So by the force of the law, uh, several process and document must be signed using these certificates. So the users have the guarantee of these documents and transactions have the security and the proposition of a real document in the real world. Furthermore, we have to build transitions between the classic systems of uh, digital identity towards the self-sovereign identity. We have to create ways and proxies to allow people to use their uh, identities and what they are currently working in the in, in the digital world to use that in the soft sovereign identity ecosystem. This case was developed for a specific case here in Brazil, where we were developing a solution for digital prescriptions uh, here in Brazil, and at that time, digital prescriptions must be signed. Using, uh, using digital certificates because the Brazilian law said the digital prescription uh, had to be signed by the certificates of a doctor to be issued in the digital manner. So this project that we developed here in Brazil using the Hyperledger Ares Cloud Agent Python and Hyperledger ING was a project related to the to create an identity of the doctor and the identity of the patient and to connect them to the doctor uh, the doctor here has the role of an issuer and he is related to issue the credit to a prescription in format of a virtual credential but to the patient use this credential for example in an in an e-commerce uh, of a pharmacy, this credential 
must be signed for a digital certificate. A digital certificate that have its roots of uh, ICPBR, the Brazilian Roots Certificate for Digital Identity here. Okay, so we developed a methodology to sign this credential, this verifiable credential, using an inter intermediator agent and just using the agent to agent protocol to send and receive the documents that must be signed. Okay, now let's explain a little bit more about this methodology and the process that we developed uh, develop here. First of all, uh, this phone here represents the wallet of the doctor. The doctor sends the document to be signed to uh, Aries Collegiate Python issuer. Okay, that's the Aries of the doctor. Just to uh, inform you, uh, this solution was based in, is, called, is a cloud-based solution, which means that the areas of the doctor is in the cloud, okay? So the doctor, using its application, sends the document to be signed for its areas, Cloud Agent Python. These areas, the application of these areas, doesn't have a web application to select a certificate and sign the document that will be issued as a credential. Uh, so to sign this credential, these areas have to send using the GDCOM uh, this document for another areas, an intermediator areas. These intermediator areas have the web application and the uh, backend application which has the process to sign the document that will be issued, okay? So the area called the agency Python of the issuer sends the document's body to be signed using the basic message. This message was, uh, will be received by the Ares Cloud the agent Python of the intermediator. The intermediator then will trigger an event for its webhook so we developed an app that is listening the events of the Ares Cloud Agent Python of the intermediator. The webhook intermediator you forwards the document for a microservices that we developed here called DSBX509, which means digital signature based off 509 search files. So these then the webhook will send this message that must be signed for these microservices and these microservices will store this document this body of this document that have to be signed okay that is the schema that we adopted here in solution okay oh that is the page of motivation sorry my bad it was the first page uh after that, the doctor have to access the web application of the agent intermediator and authenticate itself to obtain the list of the documents that they have to be signed for him. So the doctor authenticated itself with this agent. These authentications occurs by a QR code that actually has a public invitation by the agent of the intermediator, okay? If the doctor is already connected with the agent of the intermediator, uh, it's interesting thing, technical thing to talk here. We are not used the outcome the outbound, we are not using the outbound connection between these, among these agents. So we are controlling here, the doctor has, a, the application of the doctor has a, a internal database and it's no, if he already has a, a connection, a active connection with the public invitation by looking for the 
public DID of this invitation, okay? So the application of the doctor read this public invitation, public invitation in QR code form, and if it's a and if it has um, connection in uh, an active connection, uh, it will lose this connection to authenticate itself and, and to verify and and then identifies the doctor, the identity of the doctor, and then get the document for this doctor, not for another person. So when he, this for the microservices that is storage in the documents that have to be signed, please give him back the documents of this doctor. And then this microservice will retrieve these documents of these specific doctors and we present this and, and then we'll present it in form of a list. Okay. Okay. Since it, the web application get back the list of uh, digital documents to be signed, it will present these documents for the doctor and the doctor will select the document that he like to be signed. And then they will, we are using a plugin here from an organization here from Brazil. We are using a plugin to select the X509 certificate and then sign the body of the document. This document is a JSON. This document is the, is the JSON of the content of a verifiable credential, okay? So this document has a schema. This schema is the schema that was defined in Hyperledger engine to create this this verifiable credential, okay? This document is signed using the 509 certificate, and then it, the web application will post the sign, this signed document one, 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 one more time for the microservices, and the microservices will then uh, integrate itself with the ARIS, send a post for ARIS using again the basic message to give it back to the errors from the issuer the errors from the issuer will receive this uh, signed document and will send this event for the webhook the webhook was here of the issuer was developed to listen to this event and then send an offer for the patient that was received this prescription was created for. So the webhook will send an offer for the holder, the patient. The errors from the patient will receive this credential, this offer, and will notify the holder using the push notification services. It's interesting to see here that this POC that's developed here is was entirely developed using just the Ares Cloud Agent Python, okay? For intermediation, issuance, and the holder. We use it one instance of for each agent here. Uh, now we can use the functionality of the uh, multi-tenancy of Ares, but when we developed the solution, it was not already. Uh, the version 0 0.6 of the Ares was not ready yet. Now it is ready. Okay, so since the patient received this notification, he can accept the issuance of this credential, and then they the, the credential will be issued, and this credential will uh, this credential will have one attribute more, one attribute related to the digital signature that was used for the verifiable credentials. Okay, uh, how is the outcomes that we got from this POC? Well, first of all, 
uh, we have a um, verifiable credential that its con that its content was signed by one certificate that is in compliance of our regulation. The another outcome that we have is a document that can be used and checked in a only machine to machine approach instead of an signed PDF that is usually needs a human verification. Uh, that's interesting when we are talking about the digital prescription because uh, in pandemic situation here in Brazil, we have remote uh, consult with the doctors and patients, but the doctors still having to issue prescription uh, in a paper or in a PDF that usually here is not used for integrate services and to allow that uh, e-commerce regarding pharmacies can use it and check it in automatically way. When you are using this both technology, the self sovereign data, the, I mean, the verifiable credentials and the digital certificates, we're allowing to the e commerce of controlled drugs here in Brazil. Because when we are talking about some medicines, controlled medicines, it's not easy to you, uh, sell it in an online way because you have a regulation that just allow you to use it, uh, to buy it. Furthermore, we developed a hacking methodology that can be used to sign any kind of documents, not just a prescription, but you can sign a, a prosecution and other documents that must be signed at this time with the uh, self, uh, with the certificates by the force of the law. Because uh, when the world is trying the self sovereign identity concept, they will still, they still using the other uh, digital identity solutions. So it's very important for us to create uh, a self sovereign identity solution to build these transitions solutions to to uh, guarantee the users that they are still using the solution that they have but we are decentralizing the identity the storage and uh, managing the handling of the identity of people okay so that was the case that i have to uh, show you that this process as well that was the process that we that we use it to create a verifiable credential signed by uh, digital certificates here in Brazil. And I'm opening for questions. I will stop to share my screen right now and see the question and answers from you.